This is Miro, the Redeemer, God's Forsaken Champion, and you're watching CCW. by Cam Stewart from your nearest homepage, Mila Moore. Tana, we are back. Ash of the Brew, number 42. And here comes Mila Moore. And by her side, as always, Cam Stewart. Mila Moore, Cam Stewart, always promoting not only Cam's and Mila Moore, and she has been on a mean streak at Madison. You are very familiar with Mila Moore. Look at these two already staring daggers at each other, Dan. Hopefully we can keep it at the booth. Hopefully, hopefully. Madison, why don't you go into a little bit of uh, you and Mila Moore's history? The world is revolved around her. Uh, she decided to throw water in my face and hit me. After her I match. can see that from Kissimmee, correct? Correct. I was just trying to chill out after my match. And she wanted to come in and spread some problems. Mila Moore, known to have a short temper here in the last territory. It is all about her. Look at this. <laughs> Camp Stewart on a live stream on the phone already. And of course, Camp Stewart at ringside. And her opponent making her CCW debut from Miami, Florida, the Havana Savage, Carolina Cruz. Well, Tyler, Kalorina Cruz is home. Carolina Cruz, the hometown girl from the 305. You know, Carolina Cruz making her debut here at the last territory, but she has been highlighted on WWE Next Gen. She's a former WWE superstar, and man, she is ready to test herself at the last territory, Dan. She is an absolute athlete, absolute specimen in the gym, and I can't wait to see how she looks in the ring here in the last territory. Hometown, got her friends and family here. Wow, she's looking good in her entrance, but that's only a small portion of what she has to accomplish here. Mila Moore, a tough competitor. Mila Moore, of course, with a height advantage. Both ladies taunting one another leading up to this match, Tyler. Both ladies signed by NXT. Both ladies no longer there. Yeah, both talking trash online on social media. And also, let's not forget Mila Moore with the experience advantage. She's racked up a couple wins here in the last territory. Yeah, more than a couple. Cruz powering her back into the corner in a clean break. Lane Rosario, your referee for this contest. Moore underneath the oh, oh, yeah. the waist like that, a handful of hair, Tyler. Shouldn't expect anything less from Mila Moore. Not surprised after what we saw, what she did to you after Conquer Kasemi. Moore showing some wrestling skills. Nice headlock takeover, but a hit says you escape by Cruz. Cruz certainly has some fans in attendance here tonight. And a side headlock takedown by Cruz. Nicely done. Moore trying to look for an escape. She's got a handful of hair. Rolls her over. Not gonna get a pink fall like that. Nope, Carolina Cruz. And again, a handful of hair. Rosario warning her. Rolls her again. over again. Got a two count that time. 
Bruce, of course, not in any real danger of being pinned. All she would have to do is let go of the headlock. Doing a great job, though, applying this headlock by that pace, but maybe I talked too soon, but she's still holding on to it, Dan. Moore driving her into the corner. Out of the way of that right hand, and again, back to that headlock. And you, done. you know this has to be frustrating Mila Moore, that she cannot get out of this headlock by Carolina Cruz. Shelly Benson. Having fun out here in her hometown, but she's got to be careful with Mila Moore in there. Locks that hip off, delivers one of her own. And again, back to the headlock. Very sound wrestling by Carolina Cruz. Great strategy, well executed. Gotta say, so far, impressive debut. Showing that good technical ability, keeping Mila Moore down. Madison, are you impressed with Carolina Cruz right I now? Am very And Moore back to her feet, leaving some of that pressure from that side headlock. And again, oh, that time, Ooh. nicely done by Mila Moore. As dastardly and dirty as it was, she grabbed a handful of hair title and drove her back into her knee. Yeah, now we're starting to see a little bit of that mean streak showing by Mila Moore with those mounted punches now stopping around the corner, Dan. I just find it so rude. And this is where Mila Moore really shows her experience going to work on Cruz, driving that boot into the throat. Moore struggling to get back to her feet. Moore now on Cruz, draped over that second row, referee warning her. And finally, she relents, Tyler. Man, Mila Moore non stop in there, bending the rules to her advantage. And look at this, cranking it back down. And again, taking advantage of that long hair of Carolina Cruz. Had a handful and turned into a neck breaker. Bring it Cruz, you can see the pain look on her face, Tyler. Yeah, Cruz finding her way kicking out there, but she is still feeling it. She's got to do something here to get out of the grasp of Mila Moore, because Mila Moore can run away with this one. While well, she sent her hard into that buckle, Cruz clutching at her lower back. Madison, first Tyler. We'll see now if she continues to work on the lower back area. Madison, what do you think Cruz needs to do here to try to get back into this one? She is this quite deep. Everything Kelly, uh, Matt, Mila Moore is doing, she is cheating, and nobody likes to cheat. She's got her in the corner now, Tyler. Oh, man. nice uppercut forearm, really. Really connected, Cruz right down on her back in the corner. And again, picking her up with that handful of hair. Snap hairs her out of the corner. Her chin lock. She's got that arm trapped across the chin as well. Nasty with it. Just using all that weight, using that leverage to try to choke out Cruz here. Cruz, like you said, Madison, she's gonna have to dig down deep to get back into it. And she might just be doing just that. Cruz now, back to her feet. Her hometown, oh! Ripcourt, clothesline connected. More now, back to that chin lock. Nicely done, really staying on opponent. Madison, one thing to take note of is how aggressive Mila Moore is. I know you're gonna get an opportunity to get into the ring with her. And I can now wait. Oh, Cruz. Hits her back to the corner, not much behind it though. No damage done to Mila Moore, she's right back on her now. Cruz has to capitalize better in those situations just like this, Dan Moore. Rolls her up, two. two. Oh, Cruz blocked the punch and fired back. Looks like she's finding it here. Beautifully done by Carolina Cruz. Dealt with the hair pulling the entire match. She turned the tables, Tyler. That she did, Dan, and now the crowd here at Hialeah coming alive for the hometown girl, Carolina Cruz. Got 
Mercado with that shotgun drop kick. And a beautiful oh. kick off. So Cruz is firing up, she's got a follow up now. She's giving more too much breathing room. Cruz now going after her. Oh. And she still had enough left. Driving that shoulder into the midsection. And oh. pulled on. Beautifully done. Goes for the cover. Hook of the leg. One, two. two. Moore able to get out of there. Moore's got left. Moore. And she wisely rolls out of the ring, breaking the momentum of Carolina Cruz. Mila Moore doing a great job going to the outside, trying to create separation between her and Cruz. But Cruz going straight after her, Dan. Cruz reaching over that top row. Oh, Moore. Grabbing her on the back of the head, using that. Oh, I can't stand her. And, I cannot stand her. Look at this, taking the sign from the crowd. Oh, come oh, on. This is wrong. Oh, he's so worked hard on that side. Oh, look at this. She's trying to grab the bell. Madison Blake stopping her from doing so. Madison Blake getting involved in this one. They're having a tug of war here with that ring bell. And Madison won it. Madison did win it. Oh, look at oh, Cruz. Oh, basement drop kick underneath that bottom rope. Sends Moore back into the ring. Cruz quickly in after her. Cruz has Mila Moore lined up. Boom. Oh. Oh. Driving her down. Goes for the cover. Hook of the leg. Two. two. Three, she got it. Here is your winner, Carolina Cruz. Well, Mila Moore had the tables turned on her by Madison Blake. Carolina Cruz victorious. Of course, Tyler, you got to give the assist to our cohort. Madison Blake not letting Mila Moore use that bell. And Dan, you know, and Madison has not stopped staring daggers at Mila Moore. You know things between Madison Blake and Moore are not settled here. You know, I had a great time here, guys, but I have some business to take care of, so I'll be right back. Well, there Madison goes. Blake, you're leaving herself in a position of commentary. What a great matchup. Carolina Cruz making her CCW debut and Victoria should have debut. Luxstone. Luxstone, bringing the world of natural stone and quartz to you. We work to help you find the perfect stone surface for your designer needs. Get inspired at our showroom in Miramar. Call or visit luxstonemia.com. You worked hard, started a family, and created a name for yourself in your professional circles. Your success created opportunities for your loved ones, to your family and community. You are a source of wisdom and financial support, and you take immense pride in putting others' needs ahead of your own. In these closing chapters of your life, a private estate at the Gardens of Boca Raton can memorialize your family name across generations. The Gardens of Boca Raton, two-time winner of Best of Palm Beach County. Here in the last territory, 
we got a huge three-way, and starting us off is Chris Farrow, Mr. 954. Well, I've been looking forward to this one since it was announced. Ozzy Kilmeister, he better have his working shoes on tonight. A triple threat match is a champion's worst nightmare. They don't have to be involved with the end of the match. They can still lose the belt. And he's going up against two former champions in Chris Farrow and Alan Martinez. It's an incredible, incredible matchup on paper. Let's see if it delivers, Tyler. We will have to see, Dan. But Chris Farrow, he is the first ever two-time Cruiserweight Champion. And tonight, you know he wants to make history and become the three-time Cruiserweight Champion. But he's going to have his work cut out because he has to get through the Cruisermeister and Alan S2S Martinez. And all three men, fan favorites, they love all three of them here at the Unbranded Brewing Company. I don't know who the crowd's gonna cheer for, just crowd just cheer for great and wrestling. And his opponent, from Valparaiso, Chile, weighing in at 182 pounds, Alan S2S. Martinez, pound for pound, maybe the toughest competitor here in CCW. He is the leader of the CSET winning movement. They have said this is the summer of S2S, and man, how can you argue with him, Dan? You want to talk about being impressive, how about helping his team win last month that game of war? Alec S2S Martinez always racking up wins here. He is the cornerstone of the Cruiserweight division. And he wants nothing more to be a two-time Cruiserweight champion. Well, you got that right, Tyler. Well said. As these two stare across the ring from one another, they've been friends, they've been enemies. And it looks like today they're going to be friends. At least and to start their opponent off. from the pit. Weighing it out of very metal, 198 pounds, the most metal CCW Cruiserweight Champion, Ozzy Cruiserweight champion, Tyler. The Cruisermeister out here, ready to mosh with his people. The Cruisermeister on a winning streak. He has battled some of the best in the Cruiserweight division. The CCW management has been throwing him into match after match stand. But tonight, he's going against two of the best. Can the Cruisermeister survive? Can he pave out his legacy that these two men have laid out in their own rights. Ozzy Kilmeister says he's gonna have a better reign than either one of these men. Well, we will see. Only time will tell, Tyler. But again, as I said, a triple threat is a champion's worst nightmare. So <laughs> I just smashing that can over his head. Liquid death raining through ungraded brewery. Ozzy Kilmeister staple. Man, I cannot wait for this one to get started. You know, Ozzy has to keep his head on a swivel because like you've been saying, Dan, he can lose this match without being pinned. He has to be the ring general in this one. Well, we'll see what happens here. I gotta say the Edge and experience is going to go to S2S, but not by much. All three of these men, tremendous competitors, and all three men want it badly. Kilmeister wants to hold on to it. Martinez and Farrell want to take it. Referee Amy Veronica. Outstanding official here in CCW.
The bell sounds, Tyler, this Cruiserweight title match is underway. This beautiful Cruiserweight Championship laying in front of us, that is what it's all about. These three men are about to go to war for it. I would say in this one, Dan, you gotta watch out for the striking exchanges against Ozzy Kilmeister while Chris Farrow and S2S, they will be flying all around this ring. Ozzy wants to keep things more grounded like this. Well, at 198 pounds, he's still a cruiserweight, but he's the largest man in this matchup. As you saw him bust through that double clothesline and take out both competitors with a shoulder tackle. Turning his attention now to Chris Farrow. Ooh, Farrow out of the way of that wicked clothesline and a beautiful flying Hurricane Rana. Nicely done Mr. by Mr. 954. 954 always pulling out some crazy stuff, including that Hurricane Rana. Ozzy Kilmeister stays in the corner. Now look at this there. Oh, 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 look at that. that. Tyler, are you kidding me? He flipped right out of it, Dan, landed right at his feet, but that's who has caught him. Well, he, had, he put on a, a beautiful defensive maneuver, but he turned his back on Martinez. Wait, are you what kidding? the hell? That's the most metal hurricane I've ever seen, Dan. Well, that was shocking. I'll, I've got to admit it. Mosh now. Earning that moniker as he moshes back and forth between Martinez. Oh! Ozzy just got in the way of that one. And S2S connected with Farrow. Look at this, Dan. Beautiful side salto suplex. Killmeister really has it, has things under control here as Martinez goes to the outside. Oh, man. Mosh. Oh, Ooh. stage dive connecting. And he had to land hard on that concrete floor, Tyler. Yeah. Right now, the adrenaline's pumping, but I'm sure that's going to catch up at the momentarily. It has to, Dan, but these guys want it so bad. There's no padding. It's just concrete out there, unforgiving. But look at Farrow. Farrow with a drop kick through the ropes on both men. Farrow now with a head of steam. Oh, here he comes, Dan. Look out. Oh. Unbelievable. Collided with both of them, landed on his feet like a gazelle. Tope Konhilo on his feet, Dan. Are you kidding me? And of course, Tyler in a triple threat match. There are no count outs. There are no disqualifications. It has to be a good for submission, Dan. Correct. Killmeister grabbing the leg of Farrow. Oh, oh, Meteore nailed him. Has the leg hooked, too. Oh! Ozzy just saved that one, Dan. Well, Martinez kicked out. But Kilmeister was going to make sure there was no pin. Now Ozzy grabbing a hold. Oh, there's oh, that the, headbutt right to that chest. That's what you got to avoid if you're the other two in this match. You got to avoid those strikes. Oh! Well executed. Spine Buster goes for the cover. One, two. Martinez <laughs> with a diving splash connected with Kilmeister. Putting his whole body on the line to break that one up. Martinez, ooh, got him right in the side of the head. Oh. Dropped the leg across the chag, hook it. Two, oh, crucifix by Farrow, nicely done. He could have it. Ozzy now. Back and forth, Dan. Come Great heads up cover. wrestling by all three competitors. The crowd showing their appreciation. Our cruiserweight certainly not getting paid by the hour. This is quick, this is fast. Oh, oh double injury to the <laughs> most metal head in all of professional wrestling. Having, oh. oh, I was about to say having no effect, but a couple of super kicks to the chin certainly did as Killmeister is out in the corner. And Martinez all over Farrow with an injury now. And now S2S and Farrow looking like they're about to reunite their legendary rivalry. These two have gone to battle so much, and here they go up on the top. Nothing good happens here, but now the cruiser well, might Farrow setting up for that superplex, but Killmeister blocking it. Gets underneath uh, Martinez, though. Oh, no. Dan, you don't think, oh, my! A power bomb and a superplex at the same time. Killmeister, the only one unafflicted. Tower of Doom lands one, two, three, no! Going for the cover on S2S now. One, two, S2S gets out of it. 
And I, I, I know Ozzy is shocked he didn't get it, but Dan, he's got to keep it on one of these guys. He can't be shocked. Uh, and this is where frustration could set in. And this is where Ozzy Kilmush may run out of gas. Again, he's carrying more weight than the other two competitors. This, and dare I say, he doesn't have quite the cardiovascular condition of Martinez and Farrow as Martinez sidesteps uh, Kilmeister, and takes a tumble over the top oh. rope. And now, uh oh Martinez clutching at his knee there, Tyler. Yeah, he landed real awkward on his knee on that dive to the outside. Man, it looks, I can't see from here, oh, he's hobbling. Oh, yeah, he's hobbling bad. Sends Kilmeister back in the ring. Martinez might want to take a break on the outside now. Let that knee rest. But he's gamely back up to the apron of the ring. Now sliced bread, maybe. He's going for sliced bread, but oh! You notice he kicked off S2S from the apron on that sliced bread. He did indeed. Oh, oh that ripcord headbutt. Whiplash connects to one, one, two, two he three. got him. defied the odds and picked up the victory. I am concerned though about Alan Martinez's knee. He was hobbling badly as you pointed out. Yeah, S2S hopefully, uh, look at this, we're getting some referees out here to help S2S to the back. You never want to see that. I mean, but that was one hell of a three-way match and somehow, some way, Ozzy Kilmeister is still your Cruiserweight Champion. But man, you gotta be concerned by S2S. And you gotta love to see this. Ozzy helping up Chris Farrow, showing his side of respect. It was an unbelievable match, Dan. It could have went any way. But tonight, it went to the Cruiser Meister. Well, mutual show of respect there as they raise one another's hands. I'm sure Farrell will get another opportunity down the line. But you notice how Farrow looked like he wanted to grab that belt. Kilmeister put it on the other shoulder. He's having none of that. At the end of the day, in the last territory, everybody is a competitor. There's sportsmanship, but winning is what matters. And you know Chris Farrell is going to be putting in that work and trying to get another shot at Ozzy Kilmeister. Do you want to be a Mark? Or do you want to leave a mark? I'm smarter than the average bear.